Hey everybody, this is Robot here from Vespa Motorsport and ScooterWest.com. Today I'm going to show you how to install this sporty original Vespa fly screen on the latest Vespa GTS 300 HPE. So pretty much the 2020 to current model 300 GTS. Uh, they kind of changed the styling of the handlebars, but this older classic smoke fly screen still fits the modern GTS just with no issues whatsoever. So the part number for this, if you are looking to buy this on the Scooter West web store, is GTS30PA-SM. And this is an original Vespa product. It's got the little hologram right here. Uh, comes straight from Vespa in Pontedera, Italy. Uh, if you're looking for a budget windscreen, we have those available from quality manufacturers such as Faco and Copini as well. But if you're looking for the best, look no further for a sporty fly screen. Um, so first of all, I'm gonna have a lot of little tips and tricks on how to install this. Uh, you wanna see the instructions that are included with this? They're a little bit of a joke. So that's what's included. Can you decipher anything? Not really, but just watch my video and I'll show you how to get this installed. So let's get right to it. So let me show you some of the basic tools needed to install this windscreen and some other helpful chemicals to have along as well. So you're gonna need a 17 millimeter combination wrench. This is always useful to have if you have a modern Vespa because it also is a wrench you need if you need to tighten or remove your, your mirrors. Uh, you're gonna need a three millimeter Allen and it could be a T-handle like this or just a set of L-shaped Allen keys. Uh, 10 millimeter socket, it could be on a quarter inch or a, a 3 8 inch ratchet. It's always nice to have grease uh, we're going to put a small amount of grease on some of the parts to keep them from seizing up. And we have this maximum waterproof grease available at scooterwest.com. Part number to grease. Um, if you want to keep a windshield in tip top condition, a plexiglass windshield that these are always made of, uh, of course, the number one best quality product you can use is also great for face shields on helmets is Plexus. Uh, it was originally for the aircraft industry. A little pricey, but this can goes a very long way. You only need a little bit of it. Uh, just search the Scooter West web store for oil plexus and of course you want a clean microfiber rag that you can find locally. So let me show you the components. So it consists of the windshield itself, the fly screen they usually refer to them as. Um, it's got that lovely decals there that you can remove on your own but I suggest you read those decals. Uh, they do have some I guess kind of helpful warnings. It's the original factory Vespa product with the hologram there. Then you got the hardware kit that's also included with the windscreen. So got the pair of bars, they're symmetrical, pretty much the same left and right. The do not eat packet, you can throw that away. And the packet of hardware and I kind of lay it all out, show you what's in here. So this is the hardware that's required for mounting these two stems to the scooter itself. And the hardware back with that little red tag is all the hardware to mount the windshield to the stems. So you have some expansion plugs. These are available as a, a separate spare part if needed and some other various hardware. And I'll show you how that all goes together. And then when it comes time to put the windshield on, you have the second hardware pack that has screws, uh, rubber grommets, uh, little chrome caps, and so on. So we'll start with the yellow hardware pack first and prep these parts for the installation of these rods into the scooter. So a little bit of grease, just a small amount on those threads. Don't need to get too crazy. But if you ride the scooter in the rain or are in a humid, environment, it will keep these parts uh, spinning freely, you know, if you need to remove them. So there's two spots, how this goes, got kind of a hollow end. That's the part that goes in first. And here in the service department, I've seen some pretty hysterical installations of wind, windshields. And I get it, some people don't know. They just get this bag of parts. There's no instructions with it. Um, or very limited instructions. And I see spacers on the wrong way. And, you know, they'll still usually fit the scooter, but there's a, a right way and a wrong way to this. So now take the larger cone, put that onto the threaded um, remains of that shaft there. And then you have the smaller cone 
and the cone faces just like that. So large cone, spacer, small cone. Next we'll take your washers. You have a split washer and put it on the screw and then you have the large flat washer. So go ahead and thread that in. And this is where you'll need your 10 millimeter ratchet. So at this point, you don't need to get too wild with it, just enough to tighten it up. And see how there's some play in that spacer? Go ahead and just tighten it right until it just stops and that's as far as you wanna go. And go ahead and do the same with the second rod. So go ahead and find the four rubber grommets and on a table, preferably some surface that you're not gonna scratch up the windscreen, go ahead and push these rubber grommets into place. And it takes a little bit of effort Alternatively, you could use like a chopstick or a, some type of plastic tool to push them through if you're having difficulty on it. You wanna make sure they're not folded like it is there. And look at it on the other side, make sure it's not folded. So it needs to look uh, nice and round on both the front and back side of the windscreen. So here we have a 2023 Vespa GTS 300 HPE. Uh, this windshield was originally engineered for the first series of GTS 300s. So there's some just subtle differences on installation of this. It fits a little bit tighter on the HPE because the HPE GTS, which started in 2020, has a slightly larger headlight, but it still works fine. It's been a very, very popular windshield for us or fly screen just because it's got that sporty look with the tinted uh, visor and the quality of it's quite high. So uh, I got this in here, it's still loose, I was tightening the, the expansion plug. I push that all the way in and just started tightening it, but it's not so tight that it, this doesn't move. And we'll do the same with the second rod. So now we'll use the remaining hardware. So you have these spacers on the bottom, you have these chrome button caps that are made out of plastic, so you gotta be a little careful with it. And you got the four screws that use that three millimeter Allen key to tighten them up. Uh, one thing to keep in mind, these are all zinc plated. Uh, sometimes I do pretty highly uh, specialized custom builds here in the service department. It is possible to take all those parts and powder coat them black, but they do require some careful masking if you're gonna do so. And oftentimes I'll actually open up that hole. So just a tip if you're gonna do something wild like powder coat all the parts black, um, it is possible. Uh, it's something you want to do with your own powder coater or if you're having us build a custom scooter, it's not some service we offer on Scooter West. So we'll take these four spacers, we'll drop two on each rod. So get the screw and go ahead and put them right through the buttons here just to have them ready to go. Yeah. Okay. And these buttons, you can't really powder coat them, is what I would do is um, tape them. You put double stick tape, put them on a piece of paper, scuff them up with Scotch-Brite and you can paint them black, either professionally or you could certainly use spray paint, they look pretty nice as well. And I usually like to start with the upper uh, spacer, so I'll push that right over the grommet. And since I have the screws ready to go in my hand, I just start this right here. And the key with any accessory, I'm talking mufflers, crash bars, you don't tighten everything initially. You just leave everything loose, but you get all the screws started. That's always the key to successful accessory installation. Um, none of these accessories fit perfect, uh, but I'll tell you one thing about the Vespa stuff is it kind of is built to a higher uh, quality compared to some of the aftermarket stuff and definitely a lot better than some of the Asian knockoff windscreens that are available. But you know, second would be like Capini and Faco. The fit and finish isn't quite the same level as you'd find with this original Vespa stuff. You know, the parts, everything fits a little nicer. And next we'll go ahead and move on to these lower ones. We're gonna go ahead and get the screws in there. Get them started. I kind of just put my hand from the back and move that spacer up. Take care not to ever drop any of the hardware onto the leg shield of the scooter. Uh, if you're not confident 
that you're gonna do that, you can drape like a cloth over the front of the leg shield scooter. And we're gonna move that to the top. So I'm moving it to almost all the way up to the top. And the top meaning I have the, the spacer for the very topmost uh, mounting point is pretty high up on the rod. Like you barely see any of the rod exposed on the back of that spacer. So at this point, I have them all just, just barely snugged up. And right at the top. And the key next is to look at your gap all the way around. And I have a slightly higher gap on the top, so I probably can just go a little bit lower. I just, if you can, you wanna keep this from touching the bodywork of the scooter. So it looks like I'll go down maybe, maybe eighth inch. So it looks like I have about an eighth of an inch exposed on the top of the rod. And then the next one is you wanna look at the side by side. And remember I didn't tighten these rods. So if you want a little bit more gap, you could actually spread these rods, you know, laterally side to side, just to make the windshield open up a little bit and give you a little bit better gap all the way around. It looks very even right now. So at this point, I'm gonna just go ahead and give these just a little snug. And I warn you, you do not wanna crank on these uh, buttons. You can crack those uh, plastic buttons. And we're looking at my spacing. It looks perfect. I have about eighth inch on each side and maybe three sixteenths on the top. That's about as perfect as you're going to get it. And at this point, we'll hold the rod and tighten the expansion plugs. And just to give you a hint of how tight I'm going, just kind of a flick of the wrist, you know, just uh, tighten it up enough you know i'm not cranking on it like i if i was tightening the mirror i'd definitely go a lot tighter with these on the mirrors but these you don't need to go all that tight so i have everything tightened down and it's pretty much in place and you can see when it wiggles around it's not rubbing on any of the bodywork all the way around even though this windshield was originally intended for the earlier model GTS 300, but it fits really, really nice on these HPEs. And it definitely looks really sporty being the tinted look, especially on this titanium finish. Uh, there's definitely one thing that's gotta go, uh, the Tensione warning stickers, and you wanna take them off. You don't wanna let them get dried onto the windscreen. If you leave them on there and then go through a whole summer, you know, and let them dry on, just go ahead and start with your nail and just peel it real slow, no heat, no solvents, no nothing. You just carefully pull them right off very slowly. It won't leave behind any adhesive. There's just a slight, just, you know, a real small amount of adhesive, and that's where I'll use the plexus, uh, plexiglass cleaner to really detail this windshield up. Same with this. Um, this tinted windscreen doesn't have too much of a problem magnifying uh, the light into your speedometer. But if you do have a larger, clear windscreen, that's something to keep in mind. And I've rocked the larger clear windscreens on prior model GTS 300s. And I always wanted to preserve my speedometer. I didn't want to have that risk of the sun beaming through the windscreen and melting the speedometer. I've seen it several times. And look, I pulled a little bit fast and left behind a little adhesive. Um, but if I'm parking the scooter out in the sun, I like to throw a rag over the speedometer. And the cool thing is sometimes if it's a windy day, with, with the little gap on the windscreen, that actually will hold the rag in place. So it's not gonna blow away or no one's gonna easily grab it. Who cares if you lose a rag, but that protects your, wind, your speedometer. I always like my speedometers looking nice and brand new all the time. That's the perfect way to protect them. But let's get this last little bit of adhesive and all my grubby fingerprints off this. We'll use the Plexus uh, plastic cleaner to shake it up, you don't need much. Start with a really, really clean or brand new microfiber rag and just give it a couple, it's a real fine mist. All you need is a little bit and then you could buff it in to the windscreen. This is very useful when you have an older windscreen that has um, some swirl marks. The idea of the Plexus, it has some type of uh, polymer in it or something or some type of silicone that you could buff into the um, the plastic to um, kind of 
minimize or eliminate a lot of the swirls versus using just Windex or something like that. Probably not that good for the plex plexiglass. I mean, you pay some good money for these high quality accessories for your uh, nice Vespa. Might as well take good care of them. That's my thought on it. You know, of course, over time, and you know, it's inevitable that you know the the windshield finishes will deteriorate. But if you take care of them, uh, put some wax occasionally on those zinc rods, and they'll stay looking really nice all the time. So now I kind of have it buffed perfect. I'll leave the Vespa original. That's actually silk screen, and I like that little hologram. It doesn't really hurt anything, so I leave that alone as well. So thanks for watching. Hope you found that pretty informative, uh, whether you're installing uh, any windscreen or this one. And if you're looking to purchase this windscreen or the grease or the plexus, we have them available at scooterwest.com. So the part number for this windscreen is GTS30PA-SM for smoke. It's a very, very popular windscreen. It's been around for several years. Uh, it just has, it's the most sporty fly screen or windscreen that's available for the GTS. And it fits the latest model with no issues whatsoever. Thanks again for watching. The way you can support this channel is just shop on our web store, scooterwest.com. Um, 750 videos into this. Uh, just love Vespas. It's just what I've always liked. I like the vintage ones. Wish I had more time to do more vintage ones, but they take more time. Uh, but the modern Vespas are super awesome and I've had them all and they're pretty incredible and capable. Until next time, Robot here from Vespa Motorsport and Scooter West.